I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question from my student Ashwita. I hope the solution of this question will help you all. The question here is, a plane leaves an aircraft carrier and flies due north at 500 km per hour. The aircraft carrier proceeds 30 degrees west of south at 35 km per hour. If the plane has enough fuel for four hours of flying, what is the maximum distance north it can fly so that the fuel remaining will allow a safe return to the aircraft? Uh, so first let's sketch the scenario and then we'll try to solve it. So the plane is flying north from the carrier, which is here. So let's say that is the direction north for us, right? So this is north. And the, the aircraft carrier moves 30 degrees west of south. So this is south. So 30 degrees west of south means in this direction, correct? Okay? Where the angle given to us, this angle, is 30 degrees, right? So of course this is 90 degrees, so that becomes 60 degrees, correct? Okay? So we can say... The, the angle here is 60 degrees, right? And this angle is 90 degrees, okay. Now the plane has to return to the aircraft carrier. That means wherever it flies to, it'll try to come back. So let's say it comes back from this point back to the ship. So it's kind of like this. Do you see that? Kind of like so let's call that point extreme point up to which the plane can fly as A, return to position B and we'll call this as O. So as we are given, total time is T for us, right? So, <clears throat> so let's say plane flying north. If the plane is flying north for let's say time t, speed is 500, so it'd be 500 t is going to be the distance, right? Uh, we'll use this uh, distance, we know the triangle here, let me just make a triangle here, to relate distance, speed, and time. So we know distance is speed into time, correct? So, so the speed during this period is 500 kilometers per hour and time is t hours, right? So it is OA, we we'll say this is OA for us, is it okay? OA. Now the return for the plane, which is AB, is also with the same speed of 500 kilometers per hour. So we'll write 500 for the speed, but the time taken will be four hours minus T since it flew for T hours north and total time is four hours, right? Since total time is four hours, otherwise it will not have enough fuel to return, correct? What is OB equals to? Let's calculate that also. OB, aircraft carrier is traveling with 35 kilometers per hour, right? So it will 35 times 4 hours, which is 4. So let's multiply this. So we have 35 times 4, which is equals to 140, right? So all these distances are in kilometers. So we know OB is 140. So now we have a triangle where we know three sides and also the angle. Uh, we also know the angle AOP. This angle is 90 plus 60, which is 150 degrees, right? So if you know three sides and an included angle, you can always apply cosine law, correct? So, so we'll apply cosine law to solve this question. Perfect. So the relation is that this longer side, which is opposite to the given side angle, AB square, 
which in our case is 500 so so let me write down here this side here is is 500 times 4 minus t right so that side square let's write down 500 times 4 minus t whole square should be equal to sum of these two sides which is 500 t whole square plus this one is 140 square minus twice product of these two which is 500 t times 140 times cosine of angle which is 150 degrees does make sense to you right so what we get here is an equation in terms of t right so we can always solve this equation so let's open this bracket on the left 5 times 4 is 20 so we get 220 100 minus 500 t whole square equals to now we can open all these terms i mean so 25 four zeros one two three four t square plus 140 square let's do 140 square 19600 19600 minus let's multiply all this 2 times 500 times 140 times cos of 150 so it gives you negative something so that makes this positive right so let's make it positive it is 121 243 121 243 point let me write this 56 okay so so we got that <clears throat> on the left side we have a minus b whole square we can expand this a square minus 2ab plus b square okay and uh, well there was t also here so let me write t also here perfect so square of 2000 will be 4 2 times 2 is 4 and 6 zeros that means 4 million right 1 2 3 four five six minus twice these terms let's do it uh, which is two times two thousand times five hundred is two million two million t right plus square of this which is twenty five four zeros t square right and on the right side which is 25 four zeros t square plus 196 two zeros plus 121 uh, 121 two four three five six okay let's do this calculation once again uh, let me just check this 2 times 500 let's do 2 times 500 times 140 and then we'll multiply by cos of 150 so it is 121 243.56 correct uh, so 121 243.56 correct so if you see these two terms cancel out we are left with t's terms with t's and the constants so let's bring the constants together. So we have 4 million uh, minus 19600 equals to 2 million uh, 336 plus 121 243 243.56 t. Well, this is with t. Okay. So. I mean this is also with t right this is with t so these are the terms with time so let's uh, do that difference four three zeros three zeros take away one nine six hundred equals to three nine eight zero four hundred equals to let's add those two two million three zeros one two three plus 
1212423.56 equals to 2121243.56t right so from here we can find what t is so t is equal to this divided by that so 3980400 divided by 2121243.56 equals to let's do that so we have 3980400 divided by 2121243.56 equals to 1.876 1.876 okay so that is the time t in hours correct so we want to find uh, so that the fuel remaining so what is the maximum distance we want to find maximum distance north it can fly so that is the time t so the distance is 500 times t correct so we can now write that the distance will be equals to that into 500 so this is the distance which is our answer distance it is flying north right this distance so that should be 500 times 1.876 so we already have that number times 500 gives us 398.2 uh, uh, let's round it to the whole numbers. So, 398 kilometers. Does make sense to you? So, that is the distance, maximum distance the plane can fly safely north, rounded to whole numbers. Is it okay? So, it is an application of cosine law. It requires a lot of calculations, although the concept is simple, right? I hope that helps you to understand how to solve such questions. Feel free to post your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe, that'll be good for me. Thank you, and all the best.